What's going on everyone? This is my brief introduction to regular expressions using VBA. I already created some functions to make everything real easy for us. And I'll copy these functions to paste bin so anybody want to reuse these functions that I made, they can. Alright, so I made three different functions. One is to replace a pattern within a string. Another one is to get the pattern count within a string. And the other one is to get uh, the matches found within a string from a pattern. Alright, let's go over these functions first and then I'll show you some examples of how these can be used. Alright, so for the replace uh, function, the first parameter is the string that you're going to look for data in. The second parameter is the regular expression pattern. All the other parameters are optional. I have some default settings for them. So by default, if you don't put anything to replace a string, it makes it uh, it just replaces the pattern within a string. Is global is set to true. If this is set to false, it only replaces the first pattern match. But, but by default, it replaces all patterns found. Is case sensitive is set to true. If this is set to false, then um, the pattern is case sensitive. And then is multiline is set to true. Uh, if this is false, then uh, it is only going to replace the pattern found within the first string before our new line. But with uh, this set to true, then you can have multiple new lines with this string and it'll still replace the patterns on different lines. All right, for the uh, regular expression pattern count, it's pretty much the same thing. We have the string that you're gonna be looking for, well, the, the string with the data, and then the pattern that you wanna look for and in the same um, optional options. The next one is regex get matches. This returns a collection, so all the patterns found within the string, it'll return a collection object. And just for this example, I did put debug that print right here so we can actually see the results within this function as well. But this can be commented out. This is just for testing purposes. And everything that's in the container is going to be a string item. And I'm using a late binding to get the regular expression object. That way, if you use this code on multiple systems, it'll just work no matter what version they have. All right, so let's test these functions out and see what we can do. I did start typing some stuff in here. I'm gonna just put, uh, I'm gonna rename the subroutine regex test. Okay. So I put some comments in here and this is what I'm gonna use regular expressions to try to extract the data and get the counts of data, etc. All right, so right here, I want to get the word count. So for word counts, what we need to do is get all the, um, we want to find all letters A through Z. And then whenever there's like a space or any other character, that's, uh, that's where you know the word ends. So this would be a word, this would be a word, this would be a word. Anything that's have letters concatenated together. So we do a message box. I can do debug that print. And what I do, debug that print is gonna come into this immediate window. If you don't have this open, you can press Control G to open it up. Or under view, it's under our immediate window. And I'm doing this in Excel, but these regular expressions will work in any uh, Microsoft Office uh, products, like uh, Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft SS. So let's do debug that print. And we're getting the count, so we're getting the pattern count. And I made a constant right here because we're going to use this for the data string. Put data. So we're looking. Since it's not case sensitive by default, we're looking for everything A through Z. You gotta use these um, brackets right here to let it know that it's a character set. And then I'm gonna put a plus sign right here so it's gonna be one or more characters. 
together. And whenever it's not a character that's A through Z, that's when it's uh, the pattern stops. So revival. And I'm going to leave these optionals to true. So I don't have to type anything there. I'm going to press F5 to run this. You can see there are seven words in there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are not considered words because they're either like numbers or dashes and so on. So that's good to go. All right. This one I have display words only. So this one, you I want to replace data. So I'm going to do debug that print. Replace that data. And I want to kind of do the opposite right here. So we're, we're going to do the character set. But I do want to keep the spaces in there. So I'm going to use an up care right here. This means not within this character set. So we're going to do A through Z. Anything that's not A through Z. And then we have to do a character escape with a W for white spaces. Close it off. I need to put these in brackets. I comment this out so I don't see that data in there. Hit F5. Clear this out. And let's see what did I miss. So we got A through Z. Oh, because this word character is going to count as numbers as well. I got that backwards. Let's see. How about this? Plus. Everything that's not A to Z. And then I want our spaces in there. There you go. Uh, all right, so the carries. So we don't want anything that's a letter. So we want to replace everything that's a not a letter A through Z or a white space, and that's what we did right there. All right. So what's next? We want to extract the date. All right. And we see the date formats right here. We, so we got numbers, hyphen, numbers, hyphen, number. All right. So we need to do the replace function again. So I'm going to do debug that print data. We want the pattern. We want 0 through 9. And this can be one or more numbers. So I'm going to put a plus sign. And then we have a hyphen. And then we do 0 through 9 again. And... again then zero through nine C 
set a C. And this one I actually don't want to use replace one because I'm actually trying to get this data and I don't really have to, want to have to worry about the characters that I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the regex get matches function right here. I'm I don't have another function that I'm going to use this uh collection class, but we'll better see it from this debug that print method right here that we have in this function. So I'm uh, So we're looking for that exact match. And I don't have to do debug that print because I already have it in here. So I'm gonna just call this function. I'm gonna comment this out because we don't need to see this. F5. And there we go. And the reason why that got cut off by one number, because I didn't have that plus sign in there. So I'm gonna add that plus sign there. Run it again. There we go. So any amount of numbers with a dash, then any amount of numbers again with a dash, and any amount of numbers with a dash. And this plus sign means it has to be one or more characters that are the same within that character set. And if you didn't have a character set, say you had an E, it'd be like one or more E's together. All right, so we got that done. Let's see now we want to remove date now I can actually use a replace function right there so I'm gonna just copy this right here and this I would have to debug that print to see it I'm gonna comment this out so we don't see that results there's f5 there we got it. Today is a good day to code. And actually, have extra space in there too, right there. All right. All right. Next, we want to get only letters and spaces. All right. I think I did. And that's pretty much what we did right there because removed everything that wasn't a letter in a space. And so it's pretty much the same thing. I copied it over. You can see. Comment this out. There we go. All right. And if you want to know more about uh, regular expressions, you can actually type in Google uh, regular expression cheat sheets. And there's a lot of things that you can do with regular expressions. This is just a short example that I did. And I'll copy this code over and put it in pastebin so you can reuse these functions and play around with it. All right, and I do have a cheat sheet open right here, and I could put this link in the description right here. But I go, I go briefly over this. So you have like the backslashes. Uh, this is uh escape characters, like you saw that I use it right here. So I use the backslash s for uh space characters. But there's multiple things that you can use for this uh, backslash, like backslash uh, in for new line characters. This up caret within a character set, it means uh, not to include anything. But if it's not within those brackets, then it means the beginning of a pattern, a beginning of the pattern string. Well, not the beginning of a pattern string, beginning of the uh, string in general. And there's dollar signs at the very end of the string. That's where you're going to look at the pattern. And the way that I remember the difference between these two, I think of the money as the root of all evil. So this will always be like the end part of the pattern, and this is the beginning part of the string. 
I don't know why I keep saying pattern, but beginning of the string, end of the string. This asterisk can be one or more characters on there. So you can see in this example right here, it has Zio with an asterisk. So it'll match uh, Z or Zu right here. So the preceding letter before it, this is optional. It can be zero or more of the zeros in there. And that's zeros are O's. And you saw that I used this before. So this has to be one or more. So it'll match Zio or it can match Z with it. A ton of different uh, O's in there. But it won't just match a Z in there. The dot uh, character is any character. So you can have like Z and a dot, and then it could be any character. So it could be a letter, number, or etc. These brackets right here, well, parentheses, these are just group patterns as matches. Then you have this pipe right here, so you can do or statement, so it could be X, R, Y. Now these color brackets, these are very useful as well. So if you're trying to get the count of the pattern there, you can use these. So say you had a number right here, say you can have one, it, can has, it has to match one or more on there. And you can do a range, you can match a certain count to another count. Then you saw that I used these uh, character sets already. So anything within these brackets is looking for that those characters within the pattern. But if you have that up character in there, then it's not looking for anything that's in these uh, brackets. Now I'm not going to go through all this. It's very easy to uh, use. It just takes a lot of practice. But once you get it down, you'll love it. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Or if you want me to show you anything else with regular expressions, let me know as well. I can make another tutorial. Until next time, y'all.